Uh, Cheech FPV says, do you think on Betaflight 4.4 RC1 that really interests you? Yes. Yes. In fact, I just last night uh, downloaded Betaflight Configurator 10.9 and flashed 4.4 RC on Christmas Day. Christmas Day after my family had all gone to bed. I was like, hmm, what am I going to do? I got a little spare time. And I flashed Betaflight 4.4 to a quad. Uh, yeah. Um, like... I flashed it because I wanted access to the high definition DVR. Um, in fact, we could take a look. Um, UAV Tech. UAV Tech just released a video that I watched this morning. Ten new features in Betaflight 4.4. Hi, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Different Mark. Um, so the high definition canvas is one of the big ones. And by the way, I should I should just. Here's a link to Mark's video. Don't go watch it now because it'll it's, it's super bad for my analytics if you leave. Stay here. <laughs> but there's the there's the link to his video. Pull it up in another tab and watch it watch it later. Um, uh, oh, I'll we'll put it in the Discord too. So uh, this analog OSD isn't great if you have a widescreen high definition screen. So Betaflight 4.4 now supports. High definition canvas. Let me see. Where does he make the switch? There it is. Okay, back up. Yeah. So this is what it looks like in your screen. You have a much bigger screen. It's a it's a wide screen, sixteen nine, and um, you have a lot more room to drag stuff around without it cluttering up your screen. It's a big deal. So that's one of my favorite features. Um. And uh, it is also easier to set up a digital VTX. You don't have to go to the command line anymore. All of the settings are in the GUI. Very nice. Uh, GPS return to home now actually lands the quad instead of just crashing it. Haven't tested that yet, but that's exciting. Um, and the cloud build system. In fact, we could take a look at the cloud build system right now. This is a, now. This is not really relevant yet today, mostly. So if I go to update firmware, and I release candidate, I'm going to choose a board JBF seven V two, and you'll see that when I select that, I have the choice of which features I want to include. So like if I click radio protocols, I can pick which radio protocols. Oh, I'm never going to use Jetty Xbus. No, 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 no. Ibus, sure. Sbus, okay. No, no, Sbus. Well, I was going to say Free Sky, you're dead to me. But uh, DJI uses Sbus too. So okay, we'll, we'll, we'll include that. Fport, no. Free Sky, you're dead to me. Um, SRXL2. I can pick which protocols I want to have and leave out the ones I don't want to have. Other options. GPS, no, not going to use that. Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm going to keep those. Yeah, okay. That's fine. LEDs, nope, don't have LEDs. We'll get rid of those. Telemetry protocols. Uh, let's see. Nah, I'm good. And motor protocols. Well, I'm only going to be using D-Shot, so I don't need multi-shot, one-shot, pro-shot, etc. And then when I hit load firmware online, watch what it does. It compiles the firmware on a cloud server somewhere. It custom compiles me a firmware with just the options that I want. Now, who, who cares? This matters because Betaflight's code is getting so big that it, it, you remember when Betaflight stopped supporting F3 processors and all those flight controllers with F3 processors, they couldn't run it. You couldn't flash it. Just didn't, you couldn't do it anymore. You had, you could use an old version. It got too big. And some people like Mark Spatz, the very guy we were looking at, made a custom build of Betaflight where they left out certain features to make it smaller so it would fit. Except Mark Spatz knows how to like compile Betaflight on his home computer. I don't. I mean, it seems like a pain in the ass. I don't like compiling code if I don't have to. So what they've done is they've given you the ability 
to custom compile your own version of Betaflight with just the features that you want. So that in the future, when Betaflight gets too big to fit on an F7 chip or an F4 chip, you can leave out the features you don't want and shrink it back down again. And that's pretty damn cool. By the way, you can also just hit classic mode and then it just compiles the whole thing just like it always used to. Very exciting stuff. So those are some things I'm excited for in Betaflight 4.4 RC1.